Okay, we're live. Hey, everybody, how's it going? Hope everybody's having a great uh, Monday. Um, we got with us today, we got Mr. Jason Wade. Say hello, Jason. Hey, everybody, how y'all doing tonight? So, uh, yeah, so we're going to have a little bit of fun here tonight. I'm um, going to ask uh, Jason some uh, some questions and uh, see what see what happens tonight. So I just want to say hello to everybody in the chat. We've got 10 people already in here, so I just want to do a little roll call. Let's see who we got. Uh, we got George Strawn. How are you, George? Nice to see you. Ten people already in oh. here. So it's... We got uh, Will Varela. We got uh, Todd, a.k.a. Soda Pop. We got Mr. Bruce, BHB. Brian Cote, Brian Fingerless Guitar. How are you? Uh, Ed Dana is in here. R2R3 Locking Nut. And let's see, I think I caught everyone. Ben Coombs is here as well. Hey, Ben, how are you, man? Yeah, Ben did a show earlier with Mike Bradley. That was fantastic. Oh, man, yeah. I'm, I'm going to catch that. I was setting all this stuff up. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. I, like, look look at all this stuff Jason's got behind him, man. He's going <laughs> to be his own cable network in a minute. Look at all that. <laughs> yeah, that was supposed to come Saturday, but it came today, so... That's all right. That's all right. So how are you doing today, buddy? Doing well. Doing well. Yeah, man. So it's great to talk to you one-on-one -on -one finally. Mm -hmm. Instead of typing each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can talk a lot quicker than I can type. That's for sure. Same here. Same here. Yeah. So anyway, if anybody's got any questions for Jason or myself, uh, tag us at uh, Jason Wade or at the uh, Guitar Pit, and that would help me tremendously in uh, in finding your question. And we just shot up to 19 people, so this is amazing. Thank you all so much for popping in. Appreciate it. Oh, I said 19, and we're at 20, so that's fantastic. Oh, Absolute Mayhem is in here. Fender Guru, Michael B., Frank Corcoran. Hey, guys. How's everybody doing on this fine Monday night? Oh, yeah. David Ennis. I've got the chat up, but I can't tell how many people are in it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Blackjack. Hey, man. Nice to see you, Blackjack. Nice uh, to see Blackjack's guitar. She got that beautiful dusty rose. Oh, man. Oh, is that the one that she had? Uh... You're supposed to guess what it was? That I I don't know if it was a guessing thing, but it was. A, it's a rare guitar. They only made a few of them, apparently. Marco's <laughs> Images is here as well. How are you, Marco? So, you know what, Jason? I was going to tell you, man. I don't know. I think you, you you're like a how would I put it like um a, like a secret weapon. <laughs> what? <laughs> like a secret weapon, buddy. All of a sudden, you start posting these vids, and you you know with you playing, and I'm like, oh my god, this guy's a great player, man. <laughs> Where did all that come from, buddy? <laughs> I suck. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm the guitar hack. Yeah. <laughs> That stuff is I, damn good. I mean, everybody was pressuring me, you know. Ah, uh, I was pressuring you. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I had those – when I first got into the YouTube thing, which hasn't been very long, maybe four months at the most as far as that goes, four or five months, mm -hmm. if that, uh, everybody, you know, started getting in chats, getting in some of these bigger channels, and then started filtering down some of the smaller channels. Right. Uh, and it became – you know, it, it became more personal as far as that goes. You you know, you were talking to, seeing the same names, talking All the time. To them, That's right, yeah. Know, bonding with them and so on and so forth. And then uh, everybody was like, well, you know, hey, you play guitar. And I started sending uh, sound clips, like, I, you know, on the phone. Just yeah. the, uh, the voice recorder. I'd start sending them, like, Broken Chains and, uh, you know, Joe Wentz and just and Ben Coombs and, and just, you know, anybody, EJ, R2. Yeah. All these people that I had collected their actual numbers and were able to contact them outside of YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was started sending clips. I'm like, hey, what do you think about this? Because I had just started getting back into guitar. I started playing years ago. That's, what, was, that's what I want to know. That's what mm -hmm. I want to know. Yeah. When, when I was like 14 or 15, I had a couple of friends, and they were all into the guitar, you know, the 80s metal, hair metal, hair right, bands, right, right. so on and so forth. And they had guitars, so I you know, went back to mom and dad and said, hey, I want a guitar. I want a amp. I want to do that. You know, so on and so forth. Well, after much coaxing, 
they got me uh, at the local music store was Holloway's in uh, Monroe, North Carolina. Right. And they picked me up Christmas morning. I woke up and I had a black PV Patriot and a Backstage Plus amp um, under the tree. A and PV Backstage. Stage. Yeah. That's and I funny. didn't have any idea what to do with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's funny. That's like the third person that I know that started with a PV Backstage because I had one also. That was my yeah. first. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, you know, that that little amp. I mean, yeah. it was one speaker amp as far as that goes. But, heck, you know, all you wanted at that point, 14, 15 years old, all you wanted was distortion. You didn't it's care. Dirt. Yeah. Yeah. Just turn, <laughs> the, right. turn the distortion up. You know what I'm saying? That's you it, see right. if I can make a bunch of noise. <laughs> that was good when you played like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, you know. But, yeah, uh, yeah I start, I went that avenue, and then mom and dad, of course, you know, you're going to learn how to play it. You're actually going to do something with it, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And uh, they sent me to a guy. I can't even remember his name, to be honest with you, but I took three lessons from him, but he was country. Oh. Uh, and um, I mean, like hardcore, old school Waylon Jennings country, you know, George that's, Jones. Stuff. Okay, that's all right. And that, that's cool. I mean, yeah. I listen to that music. I listen to all kinds of music. But um, at the at the time when you're 15 years old and your friends are playing, you know, Night Ranger and Rat and all this other stuff, you're like, right. I want to play this. You know, I want to play something that I'm going to play. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, he, I took three lessons. He taught me the basic chords, G, A, D, C. First position, so, cowboy right. chords. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, you know, it just fizzed out. I mean, I went home, of course, and practiced those chords, but I couldn't do what I wanted to do, so I got frustrated with it and just pretty much just said the heck with it. You know, hang on, whatever. I got interested in girls or something else. You know. Yeah, yeah. You're at that um, age, right? Yeah, exactly. And mm -hmm. um, through the years, uh, I revisited it. And then gave it up, revisited it, gave it up. You know, you get those little urges. Oh, I want to play guitar again, so on and so forth. Whatever mm -hmm. inspiration it may be, whether it was Eddie Van Halen at the time, you hear that song and it's just like, woo, or Joe Satriani or whoever. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it inspired you to be able to want to do that. Um, so I started getting real, started getting really into it when I got married for the second time. Mm -hmm. Um. And I had an actual building out back of the house. It was wired up, 20 by 10 building. And I'm like, ooh, this is going to be my studio. You know, so I bought a huge, what was it, Fender Ultimate Chorus? Does that sound right? Fender Ultimate Chorus. Yeah, something. It was an old silver-faced amp. I mean, it had two, two 12s, I think, in it. Something like it wasn't that. a you Princeton know. chorus, was it? No, 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 no. It wasn't the high-dollar one. It was... Uh, no, no, the Princeton chorus, there was a solid-state one that I owned for a while. I don't know. I, don't know. I can't yeah. remember. But anyway, I got that, and I got the JS100 uh, Satriani Series Ibanez. Okay. Because at that point, at that particular time, uh, Satriani was hitting it real big with the instrumental guitars and everything right. like that. And it piqued my interest. Mm -hmm. So that's what I decided to do. So I stayed out there, camped out, you know, with the heater during the winter and air conditioner and fan during the summer and started working on different stuff. Uh, just mm -hmm. basically teaching myself, trying to train my ear, learn by ear, which, of course, I didn't know what I was doing then. But now, being mm -hmm. a little more educated on the subject, I can say that. Um, but it's one of those things where, you know, you got to where you're playing the Eddie Van Halen and you do the same thing. You'd share it. You know, you, you think you do pretty good. You play a riff or something like that. You'd share it with somebody. Hey, how you like this? Mm -hmm. But the thing with me was somebody walked in the room and it's instant freeze. Can't play nothing. I mean, you just you know, <laughs> sit there and talk, give the guitar to them, let them play. You yeah. Know? But you would, I couldn't play in front of people, period. Right. And, uh, and I've been that way the whole time as far as that goes. Never, because I've never been in a band, never anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, it was one of those things, like I told you, up until YouTube here about five months ago, ain't nobody ever heard or seen me play other than the little clips. <laughs> right, right. Uh, but in the last four or five months, I've dug in with YouTube and, and uh, learning. That's how I got into the YouTube community, per se, was I was hunting up videos on how to play this, how to play that, so on and so forth. And I'd, yeah, yeah. I'd watch those videos. Right. Whether it be lessons or just somebody playing and me, you know, recognizing where they were at on the fretboard, so on and so forth. Uh, and that's where I'm at today as far as that goes. I mean, you know, then, like I said, 
uh, you get divorced, you go through that thing, you get out of that, you start building yourself back up, you got money. I got a daughter that I got full custody of. She lives with me. She's 16. So I take care of her. Mm -hmm. Go to work, come home, and this is what I do to entertain myself. Right, right. Uh, so I start spending money on guitars and amps and equipment and everything else. The gas thing. <laughs> yeah, the gas thing. Let me just uh, let me just take a minute here and Absolutely. say hello to some I'm new, rambling. Some uh, new people that popped in. Cheryl Atkinson, how are you? She says she's stalking you. <laughs> uh, Guitar Pit, how are you, man? Uh, Marco's Images, how's it going? Who else we got? Who else we got? Uh, sorry, guys, just uh, scroll. Absolute Mayhem, how are you, man? Okay, I think. Uh, oh, Dan Sullivan, hey, man. Yeah. Nice to see you back, Dan. He's like, oh, Mark Yaddle Hernandez Piano. Oh, hello. How are you? And Jeff Ripplinger. Lugie Flux is here. Hey, man. Cool, cool. Awesome. Yeah. Hanging out. Yeah, we got 29 people watching, man. This is great. Thanks, everybody, for popping in. Hey, no worries, uh, Dan Sullivan. Yeah, that's cool, man. So, yeah, it's funny, eh? Like how, you know, everybody sort of has that, that thing where, you know, they get into it when they're young and then they kind of back off it and then they get back into it and then they back off, you know, because life gets in the way, right? Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and you kind of, so so 100%, like you're, you're totally self-taught. And the other thing you said that was interesting too is that you guys got into like the YouTube thing like about four months ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you you got back into it roughly. You got into it roughly at the same time as I did, actually. Right, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah I remember when you were trying to, you know, you were just starting the live thing. Yeah. <laughs> on with the cigar and everything. You know, I'll, <laughs> I'll do that, brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The other day, I'm out in the shed, and uh, or uh, let me call it my smoking lounge. Sorry. <laughs> And uh, yeah, and I was having a cigar, and um, I used to do a thing. The, what you're talking about is back back in the summer. Mm -hmm. I used to do these like after gig things, right? The yeah. next day kind of thing, and I'd be out there with a cigar, and I'd just get on and I'd start talking and and stuff, and and it always freaked me out when people would come on, right? <laughs> like, okay, this is great, you know. I start yeah. talking, whatever, and so I hadn't done one in a long time, and I I did one uh, on. I think that was Saturday. I did that, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I, I would. And shit, I think I went for like an hour. It was a lot of you know. It's just fun. It's just fun to to get on and just yeah. You're interacting with people. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, exactly, man. That's yeah. all it is. Mm -hmm. Hey, Michael Bishop, how's it going? Networking in some circles, as far as that goes, but it's just hanging. You just hanging out. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, like so. So it's funny because so I guess when I started seeing you, I didn't realize it. I thought you'd been around for a long time. <laughs> so uh, you were just starting I, up when I was six, starting. Up. Six months before I got on YouTube, I was bitching at my daughter for watching YouTube so much. <laughs> 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 and now she's like, "You got a YouTube channel?" <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got a sixteen-year-old too, man. So, yeah. so, you got, Dad, you got how many subs? <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. people actually watch Dad. Is that amazing? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. It still kind of freaks me out that people get on and, you know, listen to us old guys talk about music and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, so, uh, what, uh, what, so you said your first guitar was that PV, and then mm -hmm. kind of where'd you go from there with guitar wise? Um, the, I went down the road with, um, the Ibanez Satriani. Yeah, so you're a big Satch guy then, eh? Yeah, I like he had he had more of an impression on me. And I've told this before, but he had more of an impression on me because during when Eddie Van Halen and them came out, um, I was listening to it, but I be honest with you, I didn't know what it was. You know what I'm saying? It's just rock music, metal. Yeah, 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 yeah. As far as that goes, uh, the the guitar part of it, I didn't know how uh, phenomenal it was, and you know, um, groundbreaking per se. Oh yeah, it was just music, good music to me. Um, I didn't get into Eddie real 
heavy until later, as far as that goes, whenever I figured out how hard it was to do what he was doing. Right. Um, but Satriani is the one that basically just blew my mind because that in that lull time, chase that rabbit. Sorry about that. In that lull time, that's when life was happening. You just get married, you had kids, so on and so forth. Yeah. So it wasn't prevalent one way or the other. I still listened to music, but I wasn't interested in playing it one way or the other because I had other, you know, aspirations as far as that goes. Right. We got a question actually. Uh, Todd, uh, Todd is saying, "Sorry, Will, I missed that question." But Todd is uh, nice enough to repeat it. Uh, Will Varela asked, "What was yours and Jason's first gigging band names back in the day?" But you said that you weren't in a. I've never been in a band. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, oh man! Oh my! <laughs> my first band. I was. Uh, Oh man, well, what I would have been maybe fifteen or something, fifteen or sixteen. We were Conquest. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it was two guitars and drums, no bass. <laughs> hey man, it's what bass? Happy. what's bass for? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So you're saying okay? So when you started playing again, what what guitars were you buying? Uh, when I now here lately, um, my what I would call my serious uh, part of getting back into guitar. I always wanted a, I don't know, probably what, 10 years, 10, 15 years ago. I'll tell you yeah. this story. I told this on the Johnny Bean show, but um, <laughs> my then wife, we were just married. I wanted to get back into guitar and there was a music store in Charlotte called McFadden music. Mm -hmm. And they sold all the high end stuff. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you right, know, yeah, thousand yeah. dollar guitars. It wasn't the, it wasn't the low level or mid grade stuff. It was the, the creme de la creme. Right. And uh, so they had Paul Reed Smith. Oh, yeah. I had never heard of them until I went to that music store. I picked one up and I couldn't even tell you what it was, to be honest with you. I mean, I knew it was a, it's either 22 custom or 24 custom if they made them back then, CE maybe or something. But it was the core of authentic Paul Reed Smith. And it was red. And yeah. I used to go up there. I picked it up and played it, and I fell in love with it. And I used to go up there, but the thing was like seventeen hundred bucks. And you know, just getting married, yeah, and, yeah, and having kids, you ain't got that kind of money just to toss at somebody for a guitar. Um, so I'd ride up there on the weekends and I'd play it. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy, the guy, the salesman was like, you know, hey, you gonna buy that thing or what? You know? <laughs> yeah, man. So, so you know, like I said, just getting married, your credit isn't. Uh, hottest thing going and i couldn't afford to finance it one way or the other or couldn't get it financed mm -hmm. so i asked him i was like hey man i said you, you guys take trades for this stuff and he's like well i mean you know you might be able to work something out what you got and i had a 73 volkswagen van it was red and white <laughs> <laughs> and my wife had the honda and i talked to her and she was at the time willing to let me trade the uh the van for the guitar if they would go for it right they of course they didn't go for so <laughs> I've never heard that. You go to a guitar store. Hey, I don't have a guitar, but I got a car outside. <laughs> <laughs> you want that, man? <laughs> oh, that's funny. I mean, man. that's how that's how bad I wanted that guitar at the time. Oh, that's, that is some heavy gas, man. Yeah, dude. But uh honestly, when I uh other than that, the first one I got was a, I found out about the Paul Reed Smith S E line. Which yeah, was, yeah, yeah. They're a little less expensive, yeah. Right. So I started, you know, I was like, oh, I remember I always wanted a Paul Reed Smith. Well, I don't want to spend two thousand. Even now, I don't want to spend two thousand dollars on a Paul Reed Smith or more. So I started looking around at the uh, SE line, mm -hmm. and uh, there was a seven hundred dollar SE uh, custom twenty four at guitar. Right. Well, sight unseen, I was like, heck with it, I'm gonna buy it. So I went down there and I bought it. I got home. And it had the floating trim low on it. It had a trim low on it instead of right, right, right. a hardtail. Uh, yeah, that's right. Um, so I got home and I was disgusted with it because of the floating trim low on it. So I was like, and I could never keep it in tune because I didn't know what I was doing. You know, yeah, it, yeah. It wasn't the guitar, it was me. It was mm -hmm. the user, user error. But uh anyway, so about a week after fighting it a week, I took it back. But when I took it back, I took it back to a different guitar center because there's two right close to me. Mm -hmm. And the one that I took it back to had the hardtail semi hollow PRS tobacco right. that I've got. And they had it $200 cheaper than what I paid for the other one. 
So mm-hmm. I picked it up and brought it home, and that was my that's the first guitar I've gotten since all I've accumulated all this stuff in the last six months, five to six months, because all this stuff is basically brand new. Other yeah. Than, uh, other than there's a pink bullet Squire strap that I bought my daughter probably about five years ago. Oh no, not even five years ago, three years ago, because I was going to teach her how to play guitar at least right. what I knew. Mm-hmm. Um, and she wasn't interested. She ain't touched it. One way she put it, she put it around her with a strap. Took a picture. I'm done. You know. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got Earl Painters in the house. How are you, Earl? Hey, Loogie Flux. How's it going? Let's see who else we got in the house. <laughs> Brian Stewart. I'm not wrapping presents. That's all my crap. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, PV Ninja, salut. That's cool. Oh yes, yeah, so if God. anyone has any questions, uh, oh, Brian Stewart, how are you, man? Yeah, he's the one who sells wrapping presents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if anyone's got any uh, questions, please, uh, for me to catch them, please put uh, at uh, either Jason Wade or at. Uh, yeah, I apologize. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm just talking to. Guitar hack. I wasn't even paying attention to the chat, so I probably missed everything. If anybody's asked anything, no, no worries, no worries. I'm I'm trying to catch as many as I can, but it is sometimes uh, sometimes a little tricky to do here. Mm. I'm just catching up. Yeah, yeah. You know what? It's I, I with my daughter too. Like I've I've really really tried to get her into playing guitar because uh, mm-hmm. I have two kids and she's the the musical one you know right. she, she she would she has like I used to teach guitar a long time ago like a long time ago mm-hmm. and you can always sort of tell the kids that um, would naturally get it you know what I mean they have mm-hmm. that that like you know they have to have a natural sense of time and they you just have to be musical and she has that and I wish that she she picked it up because I know for a fact that she would be really really like she'd be better than me. Right. You no. Know? Mm-hmm. Oh, Sean Zimmerman, how are you, man? So I I would really love for her to uh, to do it. Oh, we got a, a question from Blackjack. Did you check out the locket straps? They friggin' no, Blackjack. I I haven't done that. I haven't done that. I did a video. I don't know if you saw it. Yeah. On strap locks. Those and I had a lot of comments. Right? Pardon me. Those are the shower ones, right? Yeah. Well, it's I'm not. I don't want to pick on shower, but just generally the horseshoe uh, style. Mm-hmm. And I got a lot of comments. I got a lot of people saying, "Oh, they're great. They're terrific. They work." And I, I say clearly at the end of my video, if they work for you and you're happy with them, then that's terrific. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I mean? Every everybody's gonna have a different experience. And my experience is, and every oh, you got to tighten them up and all that. Believe me, I tighten them up. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, I'm not. You know, I've been doing this for a while, right? But mm-hmm. at the end of the day, you know, you, you move around enough, whatever, they do loosen. Mm-hmm. And I I, <laughs> I came close to smashing one of my favorite Les Pauls. So, yeah. So, anyway, so, yeah. So far, I've used the, the hey, Dave I'm- Byron. Dave Byron's okay. in the house. How are you, man? All right. What's up, Dave? I use I- the... Uh, I think they're the Loctite, Brian Stewart says. Loctite. <laughs> Use Loctite. Uh, give me a second here. I know they're, I know they're in here. Oh, no. They're in this drawer. See, my, my bedroom studio is literally my bedroom dresser. <laughs> 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 yeah, the uh, Dunlop strap lock. That's what I use. There you go. Yeah, anything that's barrel shaped, right? That'll mm-hmm. spin. Yeah, uh, Blackjack just put in a link for lock, uh, lockstraps.com. Yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you, Blackjack. Mm-hmm. Okay, Old Man Dan saying the Fender versions have two sharp nubs that dig into the strap. Yeah, well, these ones don't have any of that. It's just literally a, a washer and a lock nut. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Todd Flower says duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like Dave Byron, he's doing the '80s, you know, around. Oh, I saw the spin. He's got washers on his, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, come yeah. on. 
<laughs> I saw I saw Dave Byron uh, at the Blue Monkey. Yeah, and he did the he did. I didn't know he did that. And all of a sudden, he's out in the crowd and he just spins it. And I'm like, wait, because I get nervous when I see that. Eh? I'm like, oh, oh my yeah. god, don't don't do it. <laughs> but oh, he yeah. did. Yeah, oh, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah. So all the guitars you bought are like just literally within the last few months. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean six, six seven six months, months as far as that goes. Uh, what are you up to now? Should I ask? <laughs> Uh, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. I got nine and a youth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, nine and what? How many months? Six months? Yeah, or less. Well, I'm like I said, I'm counting Peyton's, which that would you know, okay, right. be eight, eight. Yeah, but uh, in what span of time? Like nine months, six months? Yeah, oh yeah. I can't help it, dude. I get on reverb and it's like, oh, that looks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dave Byron says he won't spin the Les Paul, so he better not. Take it. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Imagine the lawsuit if that thing came loose and took somebody out. <laughs> uh -huh. I tried. I tried to. Um, hey, EJ Guitar, how are you, buddy? Hey, R two. Oh yeah, we gotta do an R two shout out. Okay, on the count of three, ready? All right. <laughs> One, two, three. Hey, R2! <laughs> Watchmen for you. How are you, man? We well, got 42 people watching. This is crazy. Wow. Wow. Well, yeah, that, um, I was going to talk to you about that uh, the player series, Strat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I messaged you. Mm -hmm. So, right. yeah, it's crazy. Like, I, uh, I was at a couple of stores uh, the other day. And, you know, they had the, like, you guys had the Thanksgiving, but we still had the deals here as well, even though our Thanksgiving was long past. Mm -hmm. And I went, uh, yeah, that's exactly the one I picked up. Mm -hmm. And I picked one up at one store, and I think I'm, I told you this, and I played it, and it was really, really bad. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah. I, Jason Jason Wade bought this. I mean, you know, maybe, maybe it was just me. It didn't work for me. Right. And then the same day, I go to another store and I see the exact same one hanging, and I pick it up, and I'm like, "This thing's amazing!" Yeah, so I was like, you it, know it what I mean? plays very well. It really does. It really yeah, does. it's beautiful, man. I love that mm -hmm. finish on that. Yeah, I mean, um, I had been looking at it right uh, because I wanted to strat, and that's what I was going to say. I tried in this six, seven month gas. Uh, right. I tried to make sure I covered the spectrum as far as tone you know what i'm saying because i knew i was gonna i was gonna dig into it hardcore this time right so i got the the paul Ray smith and then of course you gotta get a les paul so i got the les paul and, i don't know uh, if i've seen your les paul oh yeah that's the uh or maybe i have wait a minute that's the it, that's the uh natural wood finish one right yes 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 okay yeah, it looks like wall we'll show it anyway i'm sure the crowd People in the chat would love to see your your guitars, man. Let's go through them all. Gussie Wells, how are you, man? All right, that's the that's the Les Paul I've got. Yeah, it's the, yeah. It's the studio version, so 2005, I think. Studio. You know what kind of pickups those are? No, well, in the ad when I bought it, <laughs> it said they were the uh, the ZZ Top ones. What do they call it? Pearly Gates. Oh, those are good, man. Yeah, I mean they sound really good, but I haven't taken the strings off of it to be able to take pickups out and look to see to verify it, put it that way. Right. But um it's come it comes custom. Somebody put the cream pick guard, the cream speed knobs on it, and everything like that. But this is the cool part that got me. Check out the back. They put All the like speed through. Yeah. That is cool, man. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, we got a question, by the way. Okay. Absolute mayhem. Uh, he's asking, well, he's, I guess for both of us, ever have a guitar accident while guitar shopping? On Saturday at a very large pawn shop, I was looking at an LTD Explorer, hanging it back up. It slid out of the, ooh, it slid out of the holder. <laughs> no, that hasn't happened. I am so careful. <laughs> yeah. To buy something people, I don't have. People look, at, people look at me, is he ever going to put that guitar back up there? Because I'm yeah. sitting, you know, just hanging it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, okay. Uh, what else you got there, brother? That's the last call. And then I've got... Uh, oh, here you go. 
this is the this is the Paul Reed Smith. Oh, okay, that's nice, man. Yeah, Tobacco Burst SE Custom Twenty Two. It's got the birds on it and everything like that. It sounds really good. I mean, the pickups on this thing and it plays really good. The the neck on this, as uh, Cheddar can tell you, it's the uh, thinner neck. Pattern thin. Yeah, pattern thin. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it fits my hands very well. Um. You know, I, I've talked about this a lot on my channel. I, I still haven't found a PRS, and yeah. it's not it's not for lack of trying. <laughs> right. I love them and they sound great, but oh yeah, that's another one. No, this is the Ibanez J. Oh, okay, it's an Ibanez. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's sweet, man. That's yeah. there's your Satriani guitar right there. Exactly. Yeah. And then honestly, whenever I uh, get in that mood, for whatever reason, I have to pick this one up. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Wolfgang, I love the Wolfgang. I would, mm. I would say, I play it the most of all of them, as far oh, okay. as. But when you're playing Satriani and you got a Satriani guitar, you just got to play on the Satriani guitar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By Dave Byron's asking, "Hey guys, do you remember the Epiphone seven string?" Les Paul came out around 2007. No, Dave, I don't know that. I, I know that. I, I've seen this uh, seven string. Oh man, the Les Paul seven string, like the Gibson okay. one, but I've only seen photos of it. I've never seen one in person. Mm hmm. Well then, uh, okay, you seen? Oh, Han thirty six solo. How are you? If there's anyone that I missed, I apologize, folks. Now this is the Wolfgang standard I got. The Zillabur. Oh yeah. Mm. And I know, Jay, I still haven't put the Floyd on it. I ain't, I ain't had time to tackle that yet. But uh, this is the cool part about it. Me and R2 um, were talking, and Dave Nesdahl uh, commented on it as well. The neck on this thing, and I don't know if I can get it close enough or not, is flame. Can, yeah. You see the flame in that? Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. He, he said the standards aren't supposed to have flame necks. He said you uh -huh. got he said, you got something special. <laughs> well, there you go. Now, EJ wants me to ask you if you like coffee. If I who? If you like coffee. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. There you go, EJ. He does like coffee. <laughs> Actually, I'm not drinking any right now, but usually I do. <laughs> uh, okay. This is the Jim Jr. There you go. Oh, that's sweet, man. Mm -hmm. Now, it didn't come with the green knobs and the pink uh, selector switch. I ordered those on Reverb to make it look like the one Dave Nesdahl's got. That's right, like right. $4,000. Right. But, um, I like it. It's got a really, really, really flat neck. Or fretboard, excuse me. Flat and wide, like a wizard neck. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. But it's fun to play. You know what I'm saying? Um, and... Last but not least, we have the Wolfgang. That is nice. Yeah. It's the new 2018 Ebony Fretboard. Wolfgang this special. Thing is my go to for the most part. You know, I played. So um, Strat, it's my go to. I, pl I played a, a Wolfgang, and I think it actually might have been a Wolfgang special just the mm -hmm. other day. Had crazy. Uh, Crazy fret sprout though, like the the fret edges were really sharp on it. Not that something you can, I mean, you can fix that. Mm -hmm. But I was uh, I was actually surprised because I was ripping on it pretty much right away. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I can rip on a guitar right away, then obviously you know it, it works for you, right? Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Feels Broken comfortable. Chains is here. Hey, Broken Chains, how are you? Like I said, he's the one that got me. Uh, he's the one that initially started me getting on YouTube as far as. Putting stuff out there. Who's uh, that? Who did that? R2? Broken Chains. Oh, broken, okay. Yeah, Broken Chains. Jim, uh, oh, Broken Chains. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Old Guys Guitar Vlog, how are you, man? Well, 43 people watching. This is fantastic. Yeah. Thanks and so much, everybody. Like 20 minutes away from me. And we still hadn't hooked up yet, but we're going. Oh, to you guys. Oh, I didn't know that. You guys live close? Mm hmm. Yep. That's cool. Mm -hmm. You remember uh, GTV? Yeah. Uh, Guitar TV. Yeah. He came up here. Uh, Didn't you guys do a video or something? Yeah. See, what it was, he had a uh, contest on his channel. 
and unbeknownst to me, I was just trying to help him promote it. Right. Uh, and <laughs> I can wake up one morning and I, I won the contest. He, you know, not a, evidently not a lot of people. I don't know what happened, but anyway, I won the contest. So I got this soul food pedal. Mm. That yeah. Was, that was the prize for the contest. Yeah. Those are nice. Yeah. And, um, he lives in Alabama, so he drove up to deliver the <laughs> pedal <laughs> because he said, I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to send it to you. Well, then he's, you know, he said, I got family up in North Carolina. He said, so I'm going to drive up and right. visit them and I'll just, you know, come a little further up and deliver the pedal to you. Oh, that's nice of him. Um, well, I had that full Marshall stack. Right. And of course I live in an apartment, so I couldn't use it. Right. And he was wanting to, I had half of it up here and the other half downstairs. Right. So the one downstairs was just collecting dust, literally. At one point, it had the uh, Igniter 40 tweaker head that I had hooked up to it. But I brought. I was just up. talking about that, uh, that head today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was a, a buddy for me and he's like, I'm looking for a head, this and that. And I was, that, I was actually, that's one, one, what yeah. I recommended to him. But anyways, I mean, yeah, go ahead. It, it was named correctly. If you wanted to, if you were a tweaker, as yeah. far as sound wise, it had unbelievable options, unlimited. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it just didn't jive with me. Nothing wrong with the amp. Um, it wasn't broke or anything. It just didn't jive with me because at the time I want to play metal. You know, I want distortion. I want heavy. You want heavy, yeah. Girthy stuff. And uh, you could get that if you had a whole line of pedals put in front of it, as far as that goes. But mm -hmm. I, I, I'm not a pedal person. Um, so what I did was I told him, well, uh, "You come up here." I said, "You can have his four by twelve. Get, nice. it get it out of my way." So mm -hmm. he he came up. He played the guitars. We hung out. We went, you know, went eight, and uh, he delivered the pedal and everything. And we tried to film a little bit here and there. Because we figured, you know, if nothing else on his channel, it'd be content. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I filmed. He was my guinea pig with the new camera that I told you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Earlier off, off air. Mm -hmm. uh, he was my guinea pig with it because I got it the same day he showed up. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I'll film you with this. Well, then I started filming with the phone and found out the phone was just as good as the camera was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's where all his video about you know visiting Jason Wade or whatever. Um, that's where all that footage came from, is because mm. I sent it to him, as far as that goes, you know, so he could put it all together and edit it however he wanted to, one way or the other. But it was really nice. He's a cool guy, and it was nice to be able to actually meet somebody you've been chatting with and and watching on YouTube, you know, in real life, as far as that goes. You know, I I got. Uh, let me just answer this question real quick, and then I got a story about what you just mentioned in a second. Okay. Uh, Dave Byron says, hey, Guitar Hack, did you say you got a multi-effects unit? No, I didn't get a multi-effects unit, uh, Dave Byron. I bought a new uh, ISO brick for my paddles. I, I might have said multi-effects by mistake. That's that's me. But I bought a new uh, I had to buy a new ISO brick. Uh, I bought a one-spot CS12. Uh, I had a gig on Friday night, and my – my multi effects was acting up, so I had to buy a new one. Soda Pop asked if I've got a spare cord. Actually, I do. If you need one, let me know. <laughs> so you're talking about meeting, yeah? So I mentioned this story a while back, but I, I, actually, it's it's to do with the absolute mayhem. He was in here a minute ago. So um, this this is th this sort of shows you how great this community is, and you know mm -hmm. how, how tight everybody is. I was doing a, a show in a town called Port Hope, which is about about an hour east of me. Mm -hmm. And um, it was it was a weird thing. It was like we played two shows in the same day. So it was an afternoon and a night show. Mm -hmm. So we played the afternoon show. And uh, and then we're in the hotel kind of, you know, waiting to go back on to do the afternoon show. And I get on my phone and Metallics was live. Metal Axe or Metallics? I'm yeah. not sure how you say his name, right? Anyway, he was live. So I pop in the chat, hey guys, how's it going, so-and-so, and Absolute Mayhem is in the chat, and Absolute Mayhem, and I mentioned, you know, I got to get back and, you know, play the second show, and he's like, where are you playing, and I said, you know, here, and he goes, well, what's the address, and I'm thinking, why do you want to know the address, yeah. <laughs> where he lives out there. Oh, okay. So he goes, so he says to me, he goes, well, he goes, what time do you go on, and I tell him the time, and he says, 
I says, okay, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll leave now and I'll be there. And I'm thinking, yeah, right. Right. You know, yeah. No. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Whatever. All right. I'll see you, you know, whatever. But man, the guy showed up. So we're up, we were up already playing mm -hmm. and this guy shows I Now I, he knows what I look like. Because right. I've gone live and so on, and I've done vids. I, I don't know what he looks like. <laughs> you know what I mean? So he comes in the bar, and then I see this guy kind of standing there waving at me, and I'm like, well, that must be him, right? So so we went on break, you know, and he bought me a beer, and we started shooting the shit, whatever, and it's yeah. like old friends. Yeah. I mean, we're hanging out, and then, he, you know, he was nice enough to, to video uh, some of the gig, and I posted a few clips, and... Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, that, like that it's was. Awesome, dude. Perfect. I mean, it really is. You yeah. know, we took a. He took a. Wanted to take a picture with the band, and we got a group shot with everybody, and mm -hmm. it was just a lot of fun, man. You know, yeah. just totally, just because of YouTube. Yeah, that's it. Just because of YouTube. It's crazy. Uh, old guys, guitar vlogs got a question for me. Were you able to get that brick under your pedal board? Uh, yeah, old guys, guitar vlog. Yeah, it. Uh, I've got a, a pedal train board. Uh. I mentioned this on, uh, I think I might have mentioned this on Ben's show uh, the other day, but yeah. So the day of the show, like I've got a pedal board, I got eleven pedals on there, cables and everything running everywhere. Mm -hmm. This is not, I would not recommend this to do this on the day of a gig, but I stripped that board down to nothing. I had to screw the new brick underneath it, then rewire mm -hmm. everything, and but anyways, it all worked out. The new brick is working fine and uh yeah, it work well. I appreciate you stopping by not to interrupt you but George is late for dinner. <laughs> oh okay thanks thanks for popping in George. Swaff train wreck is here. I see people saying hello to Swaff. Mm -hmm. There he is. Hey Swaff train wreck how, how are you? Let's see if uh, watchman for you. Nice to see you. I just want to make sure I've caught every one uh Terry How's it going, Terry? Is here. Oh, uh, Absolute Mayhem's got a question. Uh, this summer, I hope Ben, Rich, you, and me, maybe some other people can meet up for beers. That would yeah, be cool. Do that. I mean, we were talking about that at one time, some kind of like a, a get-together between all y'all to where everybody plays and do some footage and content on it. I can't remember what y'all were picking around about. Yeah, we were actually uh, Soda Pop is in here. Mm -hmm. And he was saying about a Canuck con or something. Yeah, he was yeah, talking yeah. about That's that. What it was. Yeah, that'd be cool. Because uh, myself, I've met Ben. Mm -hmm. Actually, I met Ben before I even started doing uh, shows and that, I think, mm -hmm. or around the time I started. I can't remember. And uh, that was cool, too, meeting Ben. We hung out for a day. That was a he lot of fun. Down here, he was one of the first ones that I got, got in the group with as far as, you know, contacting and talking and, and watching. Yeah. And everything like that, and yeah. he, he comes down here uh, to go racing with a uh, the the NASCAR thing, yeah, NASCAR thing. And I live like fifteen minutes away or something like that. And he wasn't able to come uh, this year because of whatever reasons, as far as that goes. Uh, but whenever he comes down next year or something like that, it's one of those things where you know you'd be able to meet somebody that lives up in Canada. Which I mean, I've been to Canada before because. I've got family right there at St. Lawrence River. So, I mean, it's just, right. across, the, just across the border whenever we go up there to visit. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. No, it, it's cool. Like, uh, we, we, there's there's a bunch of us that kind of, uh, right off the top of my head, Brian Cote, mm -hmm. he's about 45 minutes away from me. He's in, uh, like, in the Alliston area. Not that you know where that is, but he's 45 minutes away. <laughs> And then I got uh, Ben is about an hour and a half away from me, and Absolute Mayhem is kind of in that same area. Mm -hmm. So there's like, you know, four of us, and I don't know. Uh, the Terry, I think, is. Oops, sorry about that. Terry's uh, in the area as well. I don't, mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but there's a bunch of us kind of in the Ontario. And it's crazy how you actually, you know, like you were talking about, mentioned and touched on earlier, how you. Uh, are so close together, geologically speaking. Yeah. As as goes, within a couple of hours of each other. Yeah, yeah, a couple mm -hmm. hours, yeah. And you ended up landing in the same community. Yeah. Uh, in YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff on YouTube. I mean, oh, you know, man. Yeah. I mean, stuff, I don't know. It's just huge. Yeah, it is. 
but this particular little community to where you see the same names in the chat and you know you're subscribed to the same channels and so on and so forth yada 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 it's funny how you could be that close geologically and not know each other but hang out with each other every night <laughs> uh soda pop saying he's eight hours away oh Will Varela is asking, how many Canadians are there on the chat? Yeah, if you're Canadian, say hello. <laughs> uh, guitar Hack, oh, this is Terry. Guitar Hack Brian is probably like a half hour away from me, and I'm about two hours away from you. So, okay, so there's another one that's uh, in yep. the area. Ed Dane is asking, how many Canadians in Canada? Well, there's at least six <laughs> of us. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, there's a few, buddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. You know, I wouldn't mind doing that. You know, one uh, one uh, one day in the summer, getting all. Oh, yeah, Gussie Wells. There's another one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like yourself, like being relatively new. Yeah. Like I didn't know that any of this existed either. Me either. Yeah. You know what I mean? It yeah, was it, like just kind of blew me away because I might I've had my channel since I think 2015, mm -hmm. and all I did for the longest time was I'd get a piece of gear. And, or I'd get somebody something loaned to me, and then I would try it out, and I'd just turn on the phone and just tell you what I thought, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and I did, you know, so I'd do a video every once in a while, nothing, you know. But then, uh, like I said, back in the summertime, that's when I started, uh, like after meeting Ben and seeing what Ben was doing, and then I thought, yeah, let me, you know, let me try this, and then, mm -hmm. and then I discovered this whole. Yeah, it's like, whoa, where? Yeah, yeah, where, yeah, where was this? You know, yeah. like, you know. Watchman's asking where I'm from. I'm from uh, North Carolina, about 20 miles east of uh, Charlotte, which would be pretty much what everybody knows. They can identify with Charlotte, North Charlotte. Carolina. Charlotte, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, no, it's 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 really cool. Like, I mean, I've, uh, you know, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure like yourself, like I, I've really in, in enjoyed it, you know? Oh, absolutely, dude. I, I mean, when that's the problem. I was talking to EJ about uh, this the other night <laughs> and, and uh, Mr. B&B &B and all those guys. Yeah, Bruce, yeah. Yeah, Bruce and R2, and Scotty and all those. And uh, <laughs> I'm subscribed to so many channels that I can't even watch them all anymore. When I first started, you'd be able to watch, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. Catch up with, keep up with all of them. It's yeah. It now I'm subscribed to so many. It's like you got to pick and choose, and then sort of like alternate and have a damn blame Excel spreadsheet just so you can keep <laughs> up with everybody's content. Uh, map it all out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, like I mean, even now, like I mean, this community. I mean, we got 46 people watching. Yeah, you I know mean, what I mean. It's it's, just, it's, it's, it's terrific. And Marco's then, images. Sorry, this is funny. Marco's images says. He's got studio space waiting for me in Vancouver. There so you Vancouver go. Is like the other side of the country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I was closer, Marco, man, I'd take you up on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit a little bit of a distance. Oh, Paul's country is here. How are you, man? Nice to see you. Uh Dave Byron is currently, I think, uh residing down in Florida. Yeah. If I'm Southwest Florida. Southwest Florida. <laughs> I remember yeah, that. And Deb. And Deb. And Deb, yeah. Hello, Deb. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I was down there on business in uh, Wildwood, Florida. Right. If it, if it wasn't been for business, I'd love been able to go to Fort Myers because I think, if I'm not mistaken, while I was there, he played one of his shows in Fort Myers. Oh, that would have been cool. That would have been awesome to get there and meet him. But I was on business. So, I mean, you yeah, got to yeah. do it. <laughs> yeah, that would have been really cool. Uh, Ed Dane is asking what's on your bed. You want to go through all that stuff you got on my bed? Yeah. Um, basically, it's the mixer that I'm going through now, uh, the Yamaha MG10 XU. I was able to get it hooked up quick enough before the live stream tonight because, like I said, I got off work, got home at right. five. This was sitting at the door in a big box. Right. <laughs> it was right. Supposed to be here Saturday, but it got here today. Yeah, I just lost it. Basically, what it was. <laughs> but uh, the mixer, I got the iRig Pro Duo Studio Suite. Um, my Yamaha amps behind it that I usually use because I cleaned off the some space for the mixer and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, that's my old USB Audio Box 96 interface, and these are all the wires that I was going to hook everything else that I have: the 11 rack, the Yamaha. 
the XL, uh, XLR mic, monitors, computer, all that stuff. Right. Yeah. So that's, that's basically what all that stuff is. And then uh, the Go Mixer, which Joe Wentz gave me, uh, and this thing has been phenomenal. It's really neat. If, mm -hmm. if you just want to work off of a phone and play your guitar to where you can go direct in mm -hmm. and, and film uh, with your phone <clears throat> and, uh, and a mic if you want to, you can't beat that thing. Oh, I mean, really? It, 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 yeah, most of the videos yeah. that I've recorded while I've been playing guitar yeah. have been recorded with this. The sound that I get, it goes through this. Now, I've used the Yamaha amp as far as that goes, but this is basically what's enabled what, me to be able to what's do What's the name of that again? The Go, Roland Go Mixer. Roland Go Mixer. That mm -hmm. might be something uh, I should look into. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah because, I mean, you do most of your, you just set your phone down and you're, going, you're, you're recording straight from the mic on the phone. This would mm -hmm. enable you to go direct in with uh the cable into here, plug this oh, into your phone. A quarter inch. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you control the levels with this. It's pretty cool. And um, there's a Go Mixer and a Go Mixer Pro. And I think the Go Mixer Pro is actually Sweetwater had it on sale Black Friday for like under a hundred bucks. So this was bound to be under a hundred bucks. Right. And it, I, I guess you'd have to have some type of software to go with that, don't you? No. <clears throat> no. Mm -mm. Really? Where you just hook your phone up to it, hook your guitar up to it, make sure you got a little tripod to put your phone on, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And if you want to use a mic, you just run with it. Yeah. That but that's, uh, Ed, that's all that stuff. Because I, like I said, I've got the 11 rack um, that's currently over here on the floor. I like it. It's got amazing tones. I told you uh, in a chat, if I'm not mistaken, you asked me, I found a website. It comes with the 100 presets, and then Sweetwater had another 100 exclusive presets that you could add to it mm. automatically. So that's 200 right there. Mm. Well, I found a website where people have been sharing, sort of like a cloud-based type thing. Right. Um, I downloaded – it had a little link where you could download all the presets on there at one time in a zip file. I downloaded it, and when I went to extract it all, there was 7,000 <coughs> wow. different presets. And I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, I'm not going through all those. <laughs> well, Ben Coombs is telling me that the Evil Empire, which is a store that we have up here, it's our version of Guitar Center. <laughs> right, right, right. Because they got them for uh, for 150 bucks. Oh, that's right. See, that's just crap, dude, that you guys got to pay that much more. I don't I mean, I don't, like I said, I don't know that all the politics and that kind well, of thing. It's but. not, it's just, okay, there's a couple of things. There's import taxes, mm -hmm. and our dollar is like 75 cents US. Oh. So between the two. So Will Varel is asking Guitar Hack, whatever happened to just plugging in and play? Well, I do. I plug in and play, and I record it on my phone. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I'm still playing regardless what I'm going into. It's just right. if I can get better sound quality. Exactly, then, you know. that's that's what it's about. If you want to share it on this particular platform, yeah, you want people to enjoy it uh, better. The better sound on audio signal that you provide them, yeah, the more they're going to watch and appreciate. Yeah. It. You know what I'm saying? It's just like it's just like the stereos in their car. If they put the CD in, and you've got some. You know, sparkomatic speakers, busted speakers. You're not going to listen to your radio. That's right. Yeah. If you got some JBL 12 inch woofers and and six yeah. by nine and Jensen or whatever you want to call it, then you're going to crank that thing up and listen to it all the time while you're riding down the road. It's it's, it's all about preference and stuff. And, and you know exactly. Uh, and and yeah, Guitar Girl just popped in. Hey, Guitar hey, Girl, how are you? Girl. Nice to see you. Yeah, I'm it's sorry, um, I'm not up in his chat at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, buddy. I got my eye on it. Um, yeah, yeah. It's uh, you know, and 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 like I I was up. Oh man, I was up real late the other night. I'm trying to find like a better video editing software, but I mean I'm so bad with that stuff. And yeah. I was trying to. I got one called uh, Shortcut. Mm -hmm. It was like a download. They said you know it was like a free download mm -hmm. just to play around with it, and yeah. it was. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe one day I'll be able to figure it out. I'm still using uh, um, Windows Movie Maker. Let's see. see uh, I finally got to use that. Yeah. I got all that. I figured all that out. Yeah. Well, I was used to that too because of Windows Seven, right? Yeah, I got. Yeah. 
I, I had it and I, I made little videos, home videos, and you could edit them and put music to it. And I was very familiar with that particular program, but I got Windows 10 and they canned it. And I'm like, you can't get it anymore? They don't have um, it in Windows 10. Yeah. So I went with, uh, what is it, the Adobe Premiere? Right. I talked to um, the Tone King and I was telling him, so listen, you know, we were on a Patreon hangout. Right. And I, was tell, I was telling them, you know, what my plans were as far as, you know, I, I'm looking for this type of software, something to work with. Now, if I've got all I, iOS based stuff, Apple stuff, then EJ no, has already said, I mean, he, he, he's telling the truth. There are certain softwares out there that are just boss for that. I mean, you can do anything you want to do. It's what he mm. uses. Good quality stuff. But I've got a mixture of all kinds of different uh items as far as that goes. Like I'm working off of a Windows laptop, not an iMac. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, yeah. So I was asking him what software would be the best to use for this. And two names came up. One for the iOS was the uh, Final Cut mm -hmm. and then Adobe Premiere. Well, Adobe Premiere is uh, subscription-based now. You can't just mm -hmm. buy the program unless you get a, a certain type. Well, what I did was they had a sale on Adobe during Black Friday you can get Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements for 99 bucks. Both of them, you own them. You no subscription, you own the program. Oh, that's good. But it's the elements, just the base, the base program. Yeah, yeah. But uh, from based on what Lewis was telling me and everything like that, yeah, it's got everything you need in it for what for what you want to do here. You know what I'm right. saying? He he uses it, and if he can use it and turn out stuff that he turns out, yeah, and his stuff looks stuff. pretty good. R two R three is uh, saying Jason Wade will not share secrets with me because he wants me to suck. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, he's full of shit too. <laughs> <laughs> Literally yeah. on WhatsApp. That's all he does is fart. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, you know. Uh, Blackjack saying, "Hell, lots of our band practices recorded on an iPhone." Yeah, I um, mm -hmm. I, I posted a couple of rehearsals. Actually, I posted the first set of a gig, like Friday gig that I did. I post, and all I did was I sat my phone on a little tripod and I just aimed it at the stage. And yeah, eh, it's I it's mean, all right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, are are you done with the gas now, or is there like? Are you going to look for more stuff? Of flat, yeah, or? I mean, this will hold me for at least a week, right? <laughs> <laughs> the, fiddling, fiddling with this, and that's, that's – you're talking about staying up late. I think it was last weekend. Uh, I stayed up like 27 hours. Oh, no. Well, I mean, I lost track of time. I was messing with that 11 rack. I just got it. So oh, I was going, I was going through that and going through the different tones and everything like that, and drinking coffee like EJ was picking at me about because I drink the heck out of coffee. Yeah. And before I knew it, I looked down. It was four a.m. I mean, I was watching people live and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And just doing the whole thing, having a right. ball. And uh, <laughs> I looked down. It's four o'clock. I'm like, and I'm not even tired. Heck with it. So I stayed oh, like on the coffee, next <laughs> You're on a caffeine high. <laughs> so I stayed up till about 10 30 the next morning. I started getting a little tired. So I mm -hmm. laid down and woke up around about 2 30 and stayed up the rest of the night. Till oh, about the whole day was, oh, it's crazy. Yeah. Soda Pop, uh, Todd, aka Soda Pop, is asking, When's my lesson? When's so I, ah. I, posted a, I posted a guitar lesson. Mm hmm. And uh, I've been getting a lot of, interesting enough, I've been getting a lot of feedback and requests to do another one. And, and I'll do another one. I'll do like a little series. But it's I, I feel so awkward doing a guitar lesson. I mean, you know, like, really? <laughs> I'm a hack. I know, yeah. But, you know, but people are asking for me to do more. And Soda Pop, of course, is asking me for a lesson because we all know that he can play very, very well. Right. And, yeah. and as I said to him the other day, what the hell can I teach you? Because you can play <laughs> around me, like you know. Let's be honest. Well, that's, that's, that's what's crazy about this. I mean, literally anybody. I don't care if it's you know some of these people that are just unbelievable, phenomenal players. There's so many. Oh my god, it's mind blowing. You, I mean, some of these people that's got like nine subscribers or two hundred subscribers, and you get in there and you just watch their channel because they come up in your you know suggested feed. Yeah, yeah. And, and you click on it, and it's like, why the hell is this guy not recording music? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah. Like, he's just as good as half of these people out here recording music now. It's just nobody knows it. Yeah, 
No, and, it's and true. It, it's it's crazy how many you know. There's so there is yeah that nobody knows about. There's a lot of talent. Uh, mm -hmm. Absolute Mayhem is asking, and I'll I'll post this to you as well. What is your go-to riff when you're guitar shopping? When you pick up that guitar in the store, what do you play? That's me. I don't play a guitar shop. Remember, I can't play in front of people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you like the guitar, man. What do you do? I say, oh, you take it well, home. Try I, don't bring it plug in. I don't plug in. I mean, you know, I'll, I'll play it on a stool over there in front of an amp, but I won't plug in or anything like that. I'll just play, you know, dry. Yeah. And and that, that way I'll be able to tell if I like the neck or if it, you know, if it fits, the fretboard feels right or something like that. Yeah. And from there I can go home. And these days, unfortunately, <laughs> fortunately and unfortunately, these days, pretty much all these music stores have like forty five day return. Policy. Yeah, that's right. So you come home and you play it, and you're not bonding with it or whatever. You take it back. Back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So to answer your question, uh, I, I, there's not like a specific thing that I I, I play. Um, I'll hit a couple of chords and then I, I just right away I go for leads and if mm -hmm. I can rip Like right away, then I know that you know, like I was styling earlier like I'm bonding with the guitar Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's basically it. I just play You know, whatever pops into my head. There's no set uh, thing that I try all the time mm -hmm. uh, Let's see what else we got Trying to save my pennies. Okay, everybody's talking about buying new gear <laughs> BV Ninja, can you do a shout out for my friend Robert Keeley who will be on Tone Talk Live in one hour's time? Okay, there it is. It did. <laughs> okay. So, yes, watch Robert Keeley on Tone Talk Live in one hour. Brian Fingerless Guitar, yeah. thank you so much. Brian Fingerless Guitar is enjoying the uh, enjoying the chat. Will Varela plays uh, The Wind Cries Mary. Oh, nice. Yeah. I see a lot of that stuff I don't even know. Most, I mean, you asked me to play a song. I don't know. I mean, yeah. I'm like, now the stuff that I put on YouTube is just some something I set, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give a shout out if you don't mind. Elevated, yeah. jam, elevated jam track. Yeah, I use them too. Yeah. yeah. And, I, you know, I, I, he's got, a, like I told you, he's got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of backing tracks yeah. on his YouTube channel. And I'll just do a playlist and just, you know, put autoplay on. And he's got ten minute long backing tracks, so you got plenty of time to create and, and I got know, I got another one for you. Uh Quist. Q U I S T. Okay. Try that. Quist jams or jam tracks, something like that. Right. You, if you go to YouTube and you go Quist, it'll pop up. Okay, I'll do that then. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I can sit in front of a jam track and just sit there and noodle. Uh you know, finding the different keys and the the different scales. You know, the elevated jam tracks puts the scale that, that yeah, they'll put the they'll put the chords up. Yeah, that's that's really cool for somebody like me. Yeah, you know, it, it's like that is I think the best way to practice. Like, you know, I I kind of try to do a little kind of a routine. You know, where like. You know, I'll just do a bunch of like exercises, speed things with the metronome just to mm -hmm. kind of warm up. And then if there's like a scales I want to go through or whatever, da, da, da. and then I always end the same way. Like I'll just elevate a jam or something. Mm -hmm. Or if there's a particular key that I want to work on that, you know, like I try to practice, like I stay away from A and E because right. you know, I try to challenge myself a little bit. So I'll go for like, you know, like an odd key. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then like yeah, then I'll just find a jam track in that key, and and play along with it. Yeah. And that's you know, like that's why I really love these. Um, like Dave Byron did one. Um, the you know, blues the challenge. Blues thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. just put it on and just play along, right? Yeah. And see what comes out. Because sometimes, you know, it, you'll surprise yourself with you know you think you you oh, you're yeah. like wow oh, man that actually doesn't sound too bad. And yeah. just the way you were talking earlier about guitar players, like I said, the secret weapons. <laughs> man, the <laughs> stuff that you've been posting lately has been really damn good, man. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate oh, it's that. It's been great. Oh, Ed Dana, yeah, it's Quist. Uh, Q-U-I-S-T. Ed Dana knows uh, the site that I'm talking about. Uh, R2, okay, he's got a question for you, R2, or R3. Ask Jason Wade if he's ever stayed up all night playing guitar without sleep. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he knows. Yeah. He knows. Because <laughs> the next morning, about nine o'clock, he's like, "Damn, go to bed, dude." <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, so uh, we've been going a little over an hour now. So if anyone's got any questions, uh, 
please highlight my name, tag me at Guitar Hack or at Jason Wade, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll uh, we'll try to. Uh, is it Quist? Yeah, Brian Cote. It's Quist. Quist Jams. Yeah, there, Brian Cote. There's another great player. I mean, oh yeah, they're all over, man. Yeah, R two, R three. There's another one. You know, <laughs> it's like he's, got that, he's got that double punch too because he's into photography really good. I mean, he's oh yeah. Cool. Superb video editor and guitar and um, photographer. Yeah. Well, and That's he, a guy. He, yeah, I, I, I got to pick his brain. I, I mentioned in, in another chat, I got to pick his brain about video editing mm -hmm. and stuff because he's mm -hmm. so real good at that. I think, uh, what's, that's, I think that's what he does, right? So, yeah. Yeah. You can tell right away. Yeah. This, thanks again. Oh, Gussie Wells is thanking you for your help. Oh, no problem. I mean, you know, uh, he was asking some questions about. Uh, certain things you know interfaces and mics and blah 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 blah. and i just gave him the best info I, I looked it up on the internet uh and found out you know which one would be the budget friendly ones which one with the middle grade right yes and just emailed it to him try to help him out one way or the other i mean as far as i do that to any for anybody i don't doesn't mind yeah it doesn't bother me one bit yeah anything and, i know about you know what i'm saying right right and that, I, I that, that's that's that. the other great thing about this you know the group like you know, everybody's helping each other out. Like, you know, if you've got things like, I mean, you know, I was, I, I there's a few people that I've helped out. I've given them like one-on-one -on -one lessons, like, you mm -hmm. know, Google Hangout, like, you know, that, that's the whole thing, right? It's, it's supporting everybody, helping everybody out. And, you know, you know, cause mm -hmm. we all have a common goal, right? We don't all yeah. want to be hacks forever. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know? Uh, Brian Stewart says, uh, not a question, just a comment. I got the buzz out of my Hughes and Kettner 36, okay, using the power soak by swapping the yell. Ah, ha, ha. And now it's even more fantastic, awesome app. Yeah, Brian Stewart bought uh, a Hughes and Kettner tube meister, 36 watt. I own one. Mm -hmm. And he was asking about it, and I was raving about it because it's great. And it's funny you mentioned about the buzz. The only I bought mine used, and uh, I sort of snuck. Kind of similar to what you're saying, Brian, but I swapped out the power tubes because I noticed it was, uh, you know, the sound wasn't as good as, you know, it, it declined real quick and uh, the new power tubes did the trick. But mm -hmm. uh, I, I did a, you know, if you've got buzz and things like that, usually it's the preamp tubes. You just got to know uh, which, which tube and which position is responsible for the problem or just swap them all out. And you, you won't hurt yourself with that. Uh, with the preamp tubes, you won't get electrocuted. <laughs> and with the Hughes and Kettner, you don't have to worry about biasing. So you can swap out those power tubes, no problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Brian Coates are always willing to help. Yeah, I appreciate it. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I just accidentally hid Ed Dana's comment. Sorry, Ed. I was scrolling. If you want to make that comment again, Ed, by all means. That was a mistake on my part. I don't know if I can undo it. I was just scrolling, and all of a sudden, I just wiped out Ed Dana. <laughs> yeah, I apologize, man. Uh, oh, uh, Blackjack has the same app, Tube Meister 36 combo, though. No more heads for me. Yeah, I, I like the... Uh, oh, thanks, R2, R3. Um, yeah, I, I, I like that. I, I used combos. I like the head and, and cab. I'm kind of going that way now. Well, uh, like I said... Um... I used and still use um, a lot of software-based stuff mm -hmm. because I live in an apartment and that, that suits me better. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I do have the PV6505 mini head. I've got the Bagheera G5 Infinium head, which is basically the copy of the Black Star 5. Um, I got a Marshall MG100 head to go with the 4x12 Marshall. Camera. Right, right. But I rarely am able to plug into any of them other than the PV because you can actually go straight into an interface. You got to line out, yeah. Yeah, but uh, the rest of it I'm I rarely plug into because I live in an apartment. Yeah, uh, Brian Fingerless Guitar, thanks for hanging out, buddy. Have a good night. Absolutely. Brian Fingerless Guitar has to go. Okay, I think we're gonna wrap this up in the next few minutes. If anyone's got any uh, last minute. Uh, questions for either myself or Jason? Uh, Absolute was asking what kind of headphones I used. Um, Sennheiser? Do not, do not know the models. I went to Ireland last year uh, to visit friends over there. Mm -hmm. 
was walking in downtown Dublin and went to Tower Records in Dublin and bought, I wanted to buy something. So I was like, well, you know, I'm walking around and I listen to music all the time. So I bought mm -hmm. me a uh, set of headphones. And if I'm not mistaken, they're right here. I don't know. I don't know what the model number is, but when I do use headphones, I use these. But the monitors, to be honest with you, you can turn them down as low as you need to. Right, right. And I, I usually play through those. But there's Sennheiser's. Okay. Whatever. Later, Todd. Thank yep, you. Later. Little pop. Yeah. Thank all you guys for coming and hanging out. Yeah, I appreciate it. We still got 46 people yeah. watching. Yeah. This is fantastic. That's fantastic. Okay, so uh, yeah, if there's uh, if there's uh, no more questions, I think we're gonna wrap this up. Mm -hmm. I just want to want to finish like I always say uh, to everyone in the chat: please support each other. Please keep the community positive. Um, it's been a blast so far. Uh, Buck Lester, hey, how are you? Yes, this is a gaming chair, Buck Lester. I got it from uh, Staples for ninety nine bucks. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So thanks everybody for popping in. Jason, did you have anything you, you wanted to say? Uh, I just appreciate everybody's, uh, kind words on the videos. Um, I mean, you know, <laughs> we all know that people, you put yourself out there on YouTube. I mean, it's just free for all. Yeah. As far as that goes, once you decide you're going to put, post something, it's a free-for-all. People can say whatever they want to say about you. You can control it to a certain extent. But there again, you know, hey, you got to take the good with the bad. And I appreciate everybody's kind words and comments on my channel about my particular videos, one way or the other, and everybody else's channel. Because I'm going to be honest with you, um, I don't recollect seeing anything, anybody say anything bad, one way or the other. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's not like somebody goes in there and just tries to muddy up the whole video right. or anything like that one way or the other but uh we got some really nice people in the community mm -hmm. i hope we continue to you know everybody continues to get along and you know the trolls and all that stuff so i didn't know what the hell a troll was <laughs> <laughs> i'd have somebody explain what are you talking about troll man well, you know this yeah. thing lives under the bridge what i mean you know. <laughs> but but uh and you know give support give thumbs up I, can, I mean, I can honestly say I've never given anybody a thumbs down. No, neither have I. Yeah, never. I mean, there's nothing. Never. I mean, you know, if you know what? If Just I don't, don't watch it if you don't like it. Don't yeah, watch. exactly. I mean, if I if I if I if I if I hit play and, I, and it's not entertaining me or if I don't like it, I just go to the next channel or go to the next yeah. video. Hey, Mark Dillon. Yeah, but uh, you know, just keep it keep it nice. Yeah, because I mean, we're nice all here to have fun. Awesome. If it begins with where it's not having, you're not having fun anymore. Yeah, then go find something else to do. Yeah, I, I, do yeah, I, I've always said that. Like, whenever this stops being fun, that's when I'm gonna stop doing it. So, so far, so good. Yeah, I'm in the same boat as you, man. I've never given a thumbs down. And yeah. Before we even started the stream, I already had one. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I guess yeah. that's people trying to, you know, send a message or whatever. But yeah. don't pay attention to that. I mean, you no, know. I don't care. I mean, everybody in the chat's been fantastic. We've had, yeah, you know, a great, uh, great comments here. So, uh, mm -hmm. so anyway, so, yeah, I want to thank Jason uh, so much for popping in. We tried to do this. This, this was a long time coming, actually. <laughs> yeah. We finally figured it out anyway. And I didn't and, even uh, mention Pink Floyd. <laughs> oh, yeah, Pink Floyd. <laughs> That's right. I totally forgot about that. But, um, yeah, I'll be live. Uh, I'll be doing a solo show on Thursday, and I got some guests coming up next week. Some of them are in the chat. I'm not saying who. You'll have to wait and see. But we got guests coming on next week. Uh, so check that out. But I will be on live again Thursday at 7 p.m. Mm-hmm. Uh, before Ben show, I do the lead in for Ben and, uh, yeah. So anyways, uh, Brian Stewart, I've gotten two thumbs down. One was a guitar channel political and turned me off and yellow pedal dude that went after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, folks have a great night. Have a Absolutely. great week. And, uh, I hopefully we'll see you all on, uh, Thursday, 7 PM Eastern. Mm -hmm. Cheers, everybody. Take care.